Hello, my fellow wizards. Last time around in part one, we covered all seven of the whirlwind school mounts and how to craft them. However, let's be honest, you could never have enough free mounts in Wiz. So today I wanna to cover two more free permanent mounts you can get from crafting. I swear guys, sometimes I feel like I sound like a car salesman. Yeah, this baby can fit so many Wiz heads in it, it's enough to make Belladonna Crisp blush. You buyin'? Anyway, this time it's two mounts exclusive to the five boxes event, the Digmore Pogo Stick and Ravenwood Pogo Stick. Both of the crafting recipes for these mounts are sold by Rose Tyler, oh, sorry, I mean Rose Piper, and any of the five boxes. The difficulty with these recipes is that the five boxes event only happens a few times a year, so you'll need to keep an eye out and make sure to jump at the opportunity next time the event runs. For those of you who aren't familiar, the five boxes event occurs across five different worlds of the spiral. Wizard City, Marleybone, Mushu, Zafaria, and Avalon, and has different rewards depending on your level. You'll find Rose Piper just inside each box to the left and can purchase her recipes there. First, let's discuss the reagents that are the same for both recipes. A Sonic Spring, Scrap Iron, Springs, and Leather Straps. The Sonic Spring can be a little tricky because it is a reagent unique to the Five Boxes event, so you'll need to be diligent about farming for them while the event is active, which means you're working on a timer. Most of the bosses in each of the five boxes has a chance to drop a Sonic Spring, and while the gear reward and permanent mount drops are gated by level, I believe from personal experience that the Sonic Springs are not level locked, so if you want, you can farm the Old Town instance with your Max Wizard if you want to speed the process up. However, if you have the recipe for the mounts but the event is over and you're still desperate to get some Sonic Springs, they can also drop from the Mega Reagent Pack in the Crown Shop by using the Balance Scout Talent on a pet or from daily assignments, so there is a chance you can still access this reagent outside of the event. The 25 scrap iron you'll need for both recipes is probably most easily obtained by squatting in the bazaar until you get what you need, but if you're desperate, it spawns in a number of different worlds and most commonly in Marleybone. You can also easily transmute it with stone blocks and ore from a recipe sold at the earliest by Felicia Worthington near Digmore Station in Marleybone. If you've been out harvesting scrap iron, you may also get some of the 25 springs you need for the recipe as they are a rare harvest from scrap iron. I recommend once again camping the bazaar as they regularly appear there, but you can also transmute springs with scrap iron from another transmute recipe from Felicia Worthington if you'd prefer. Springs also commonly drop from most of the ultra pants you'll need for the whirlwind recipes, so you may get some that way as well. The 10 leather straps can also be found at the bazaar, and are also drops from orange dandelions and trumpet vines, so you might as well double down on the gardening since there's a lot of overlap with these reagents. Leather straps can also be transmuted from bones from a recipe first found with Avery Templeton in Celestia Base Camp. Focusing in now on the ingredients unique to the Digmore Pogo Stick, the recipe requires 10 clockwork spider treasure cards, 10 brain sturgeon fish, 10 silver trumpet vines, and 15 bronze gears in addition to what we already discussed. The Clockwork Spider Treasure Cards are probably most easily found at the bazaar, but also drop from a variety of enemies and can be harvested from the Clockwork Flower, Ultra Alligator Pear Tree, Ultra King Parsley, and Ultra Trumpet Vine. You may have some of these Ultra Plants anyway if you were crafting the Whirlwind Mount, so it might be a good idea to plant them if you have them on hand. The 10 Brain Sturgeon can most easily be found in the Arrow Village and Sky City Estates houses, which can be accessed through housing tours in the commons if you don't own the houses. In both houses, Brain Sturgeons are the only rank 1 life fish to spawn, so use Winnow rank 1 fish and Winnow life fish to quickly narrow down the pools and catch your 10 fish. Up next are the 10 Silver Trumpet Vines, which unfortunately cannot be bought for gold from any vendor. They do, however, drop from a number of different enemies if you'd prefer to farm them, or also have a chance to drop from regular Trumpet Vines at Elder Harvest. Regular Trumpet Vines can be bought at the earliest from Harley in Celestia Base Camp for 2,400 gold each. If you're already working on crafting the Balance Whirlwind from earlier, it may be wise to double down and plant a bunch of Trumpet Vine seeds since you'll then get both the Ultra Trumpet Vine seed you need for the Balance Whirlwind, as well as the Silver Trumpet Vine seeds you need for the Pogo Stick at the same time. This big brain time. For the 15 bronze gears, I also recommend the Bazaar. Surprise, surprise, I know. But they also drop from the orange dandelions, which can be bought from Marley in Mushu or Roger the Shrubber in Abbey Road in Avalon, and can also be transmuted with spider silk from another handy recipe from Felicia. Finally, let's shift over to the Ravenwood Pogo Stick unique ingredients, including 15 snow shield treasure cards, 5 catfish, 20 regular trumpet vines, and 15 sapphires. I would argue this mount is a bit easier to craft than the Digmore Pogo Stick for a couple of different reasons. The Snow Shield treasure cards can be bought immediately from Harold Arlston in the Library of the Commons for an affordable 150 gold each, while the Catfish is the only rank 1 firefish in both the Waterfront and Drum Jungle of Zafaria. 
I recommend casting spells like Banish Sentinel, Winnow Rank 1 Fish, and Winnow Fire Fish to quickly narrow down the pools. Note that the Catfish is also accessible in the commons of Wizard City, but it's harder to narrow down amongst the other Rank 1 Firefish there. As mentioned earlier for the Digmore Pogo Stick, the 20 Trumpet Vines can thankfully be bought for gold from Harley and Celestia Base Camp, which is much more convenient than the Silver Trumpet Vines. Finally, the 15 Sapphires can be grabbed right from Elmore Meadowgrass in Old Town for a very affordable 15 gold each. Note, for both amounts shown here today, you'll need the Apprentice Crafter Rank, so you'll need to at minimum complete both Eudora Tangletree in Old Town and William in Krakatopia's crafting quest before you'll be able to craft these mounts. You'll also need an equipment crafting station which can be found at the bazaar under the furniture tab or bought at the earliest from Eric located near the Krakow Sphinx in Krakatopia. Alright my fellow wizards, that's how you can craft the pogo stick mounts in Wizard 101. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and as always, I hope to see you out there in the spiral, and happy questing!